Poppy Eyes, the corny ass nigga thriller from the six one motherfucking five, the borough to be exact. Now, Kodak Black. I think I've done Kodak Black videos for the past <laughs> two or three, four days. Anyway, Kodak Black was arrested at the border at the border of Canada. And come on now, why wouldn't you think they? W I don't know, bro. You got to think more. You got. You got to. You and you're not in a position to be going down like this because when I read the sentences that he's facing, it's fucking ridiculous. Now, Kodak Black last everybody was wondering where the fuck Kodak Black was. They thought this nigga just disappeared off the face of the earth, nigga. They thought I don't know if niggas thought the man's was dead. He didn't show up to a party, motherfuckers. I mean, he didn't show up to his show, motherfuckers. Like, bro, where the fuck is this nigga at? So anyway, he was arrested at the border on guns. And drugs charges. Now they found marijuana on him, which was probably like what an ounce. It, it wasn't that much, but they found a gun on him. Now this gun, as the police describes it, probably was a Draco, a mini Draco. They called it a AK-47 style, but it looked like a pistol, well, a handgun. Now not only this, but he had. His boys driving behind him, who got arrested also, they were in a Porsche. And they had two handguns, two 9 millimeters. I think they had a high point. And they also had marijuana on them. Now, you may look at it like, damn, they getting charged for having marijuana on them. They getting charged for the guns on them. But I don't just look at, like, look at it like that. You got to think. They were trying to cross the border with it. You know how this crooked ass justice system is. They're not going to look at it and just charge him with those offenses. They're going to slap them with motherfucking trafficking. Yes. And if you don't know what trafficking is, let me describe it in niggas terms. Okay. If you move anything illegal from point A to point B, that's trafficking. That's trafficking. Guns, drugs, prostitutes, trafficking. So, this, let's, let's just get into the sentencing. This particular crime, if I'm including the guns and I'm including the marijuana, which they just call, they just look at it as drugs, he is facing up to five years. Now, one thing that's not helping this shit out, this motherfucker got a pending case. He go up for trial, I think in March or May, no, no, May, for a fucking rape case in South Carolina. I just think this nigga needs to chill. Now, we typically look at these celebrities like they get off easy. And they do a lot of times. But there is there is a point in time where you can be, what can I say, pushing it. You you kind of can get hit with that eye now. We, we, we hit, come on now. Like, we get, you know, we helped you. We, we get you got a great lawyer, but mm, come on now. You, you bullshitting. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's bullshitting. Now he's facing up to probably 10 to 20 years in prison for this fucking man. Look, hopefully he gets out of the situation. I don't know what may happen. I'll keep you guys updated on what the fuck going on. I'm Trilla the corny ass nigga from the 6-1 motherfucking 5. And yes, I am getting a haircut tomorrow. But anyway, I'm Trilla from the 6-1 motherfucking 5 and I'm out.